Hello everybody! Today I'm back in Adria, as you can see from the covered paddock, because today I'm gonna test the Formula Predator. As you saw from the previous videos, I've already been here with the Formula Predator for the first test, and now I'm back for the second test. Because we have the new car here, and we need to check that everything works, we need to check the setup, and we need to get the car ready for the race. Speaking about the race, we actually don't know when and where the race is gonna be, and we are today at October 11th, so th this is not gonna be a, a test for this track, because we don't know if we're gonna race in this track, but at least we need to check that the car is okay and everything is okay. So. This car actually is not new. I mean, I, I said new car, but it's new for me, okay? <laughs> but it already made some races. The thing is that the engine blew up in the last race, so they changed the engine, so we have the new engine. So we need to make a few kilometers of break-in. I mean, they already did the break-in, but we need to finish it. So today we're gonna have five sessions, and the schedule is in the first session, we check that everything is okay and we finish the break-in and we go in with horrible tires. <laughs> and in the next sessions, we will try to push and see if the setup is fine, basically. Because the goal of this day is to get the car ready for the race and to fix the setup. Okay, guys, so this first session is for break-in. We have new engine and, you know, we just need to make a few kilometers going slow. It's so slow. <laughs> Cosa faccio? Posso tirare i giri adesso? Sì, un po' di più, piano piano cerca di salire un pochettino. Ok. Perché non mi scala le marce? Ok, maybe mi fai downshift e put it back with the hand. It works, yeah, but you can't drive like that. There's no grip, by the way. I have a problem with the gearbox. When I shift, it doesn't shift because the lever stays in the front. I need to, to get fixed. We had some issues with the gearbox. Actually, not, not the actual gearbox, but the lever, okay? So, how does the gearbox work? You downshift with the pedals on the steering wheel, which basically activate a solenoid that pushes the lever, okay? So, when you downshift, it pushes the lever, but the lever doesn't go back. So when I wanted to downshift, the first gear went in, but the lever remained in the front and didn't go back, so I was missing all the other gears. So that was the problem. Basically, when this problem happens is because either the seat or any other part of the car touches against the lever and blocks it. So now they're gonna cut a part of the seat and a part of the car in order to, 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 to let the lever move and I hope we can fix the problem. Adesso, minchia, era rimasta accelerata, raga. Ancora il cambio? Sì, praticamente quando scali sai che tira il filo del gas per dare il colpetto di gas, è rimasto tirato il gas. Ok, let's use the lever like in the good old days. This shifter does not want to work. So actually we, we fixed one part of the problem because the lever now returns in its position, but I didn't actually explain you perfectly 
how the system works. So, when you pull the pedal for downshifting, the solenoid pulls the lever and it also pulls the throttle wire. Why? Because if you downshift without using the clutch, you need to accelerate a little bit to help the gear going in. So the problem now was the throttle wire got stuck. So when I broke and downshifted, the car remained accelerated. And there's probably something that blocks it. So what did I do? I said, okay, screw the pedals and let's use the good old hand. So now I'm downshifting by using the hand and I'm upshifting by using the pedal. That's it. And I actually prefer using the, the hand to downshift it because, I don't know, the, the gears go in much better. By the way, now we're gonna put new tires, uh, actually almost new, and finally see if the setup is good. Because in the previous session there was no grip because the tires were totally worn out. So now we see, with new tires, if the setup is good. Drive. Io la sento molto bene la macchina. Sì. Mi dai più per carico al mono. Davanti. Cosa dovrei percepire? Dovrebbe spuntare un pochettino di più l'ingresso e essere un po' un pelo più sotto sterzante l'uscita. Mm. Yes, now the car works. I mean, the, the shifter did not work yet, I'm using the hand, but by the way, with the new tires, the feeling was great. I made 124.0, while last time I made 123.5, but everybody here, including me and including all these people with, with very fast and good cars, said that today the track is lower. So if the track is slower and I went only half a second slower, it means that we're on the right way. In the middle of the session, we made a little modification in the front, which I did not like. I mean, I almost made the same lap time, but it was a little bit harder to drive. So I, I didn't like it. So now we're going to roll back with that modification. And then we will try just a little change in the springs in order to allow the car to be more stable when I jump on the curbs. Because now it was a little bit unstable, but basically I like it. Basically, we are on the right way. Bandiera rossa. Eh, ecco la grande punto che rientra. Dai, eh. Dai, gas. Verde? Senti come smarmittata. Se riproviamo alla base, a tornare come era di base. C'è qua tutto? Quel sottosterzo che ti fa... Mi sa che vado, eh. Ok. <laughs> It's incredible this day because the whole universe, everything, <laughs> keeps telling us roll back to the default setup. Every time we change something, the car gets worse. So, in this fourth session, I went in, the car was great, the setup was the basic. We changed something in the front, it got worse. <laughs> so, the basic setup feels great. The only thing that I don't like about it is that in the fast chicane, where you have to jump on the curbs, and in the following corner, the left one, where you have a lot of bumps, I keep losing the rear, so I cannot push as much as I want. So we're going to try to change something in the front once again to make the car more stable in those situations. And that's what we will be trying for this last session. And that's it. And I'll try to do a good lap like the last time.
mica che mezzo oh la madonna mezzi esagerati so the test day is over am i happy or not i don't know because well the modification we made in the front it actually worked i liked it so it's the first modification that we found to be working today but you know i'm overall happy because the basic setup was great i felt good with the car i liked it i could push and it was good it felt good but the thing is we went half a second slower than the last time we made 23.5 last time and 24.0 this time the thing is i cannot say if it's because of the setup which in the other car was better or because of the tires, the temperatures, the weather, the track. Because, you know, the, with these cars, even during the race weekend, from one session to another one, it may happen that we all go half a second or even one second slower. So you cannot make a comparison if you don't have someone else as a reference that goes as fast as you. So today I would have needed a fast driver to compare my lap times to his ones, but there was not, so it's okay. By the way, I would love to say see you at the race, but I don't know when it's gonna be and where it's gonna be. I have no idea. They still didn't tell us where the race is going to be, so I hope it will be here because I tested. I hope it will be in a weekend where I'm free <laughs> and I hope I will be competitive. By the way, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.